That's not good. Ranch is not so good. good. Oh my god. Oh. That is a freaking winner. Mm. 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 Camille and I are more than excited <laughs> to make what we're making today. This is a video of things Naomi wants to eat and can't find. <laughs> and it is fried pickles. <laughs> Woo yay, yay! I've had fried pickles, I think only once in my life, at a restaurant that had gluten-free fried pickles in LA. I think it's called Hugo's. Um, you haven't had gluten? No, no, never. So I'm super excited to make them. They don't seem difficult at all. And so we're, we're gonna do it today. And then when Naomi said, I wanna eat fried pickles and, and therefore make them, I said, well, it's just kind of one thing and if we're already frying stuff, I really like fried olives and it's not as common to see that. So we're gonna give it a shot while we already have the breading and everything. Um, and make some blue cheese stuffed fried olives. We do them at my work as a garnish for a Bloody Mary and they smell so good, they look delicious and I've never been able to try them. So today we're just gonna do it at home and make it happen. Perfect. So we're also gonna make a homemade ranch today with some fresh herbs. It's gonna be less of a classic ranch, more of just kind of a spin on a yummy sauce to eat. Um, so we'll make two versions and I think, should we start with that? I think we should start with dips. Okay, cool. So we have this buttermilk leftover from last week's video when we made pancakes and I thought it would be the perfect thing to use in a homemade buttermilk ranch. So let's, I guess we can leave the pickles hanging out here. You wanna lay your pickles out to dry on paper towel before you even attempt to fry them. Um, so they're just hanging out for a little while. I'm going to... And that has to do with moisture, I'm assuming. Yeah, exactly. Of, like oil and water. Yeah, and for the batter to stick, uh, you don't want there to be like a lot of liquid inside or else it'll be really soggy. Um, it could make a mess in your oil. So I have these laying out and then I'm gonna take, once I'm ready, I'll take a paper towel and dry off the top and just get them really nice and dry um, before we fry them. I, I really don't like mayonnaise very much at all, but to make ranch, you have to use mayonnaise. It's like every recipe I ever find has mayonnaise. So we're using a cup of mayo. We also are gonna use whole fat Greek yogurt instead of sour cream. Normally you'd use like mayonnaise, sour cream, buttermilk, but we're just replacing the sour cream with whole fat yogurt because it's a little bit healthier, a little more protein, and I like yogurt. So we'll do half a cup of yogurt. I really love how tangy yogurt is too, so it has like a really nice acidic element to um, sauces and stuff. And whole fat. Whole fat, yeah, 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 not non-fat. I mean, you could do non-fat, but whole fat mimics sour cream much closer. Okay, so this is a, this is a pretty nice consistency. Um, I'm gonna add some fresh herbs, um, fresh herbs to this. We're gonna do dill, probably, let's, let's measure it so it's easier for y'all. So I bought fresh dill, I, brought, I bought um, chives, fresh chives. Let's do like a tablespoon of dill. You chopped it up for the back. I chopped it up super fine. They're all so pretty. They're like nice and green and fresh. And when Jess walked in the kitchen, I had all these pickles laid out and then I had all the herbs chopped. She's like, wow, it smells so much like pickle. But it was really just the dill that she was smelling, which is, it's funny because it is a very pickly smell. And then I really like chives. So let's do just two tablespoons of chives. I love the oniony flavor that chive has. And then we'll do a tablespoon of parsley as well. I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just kind of guesstimating here. I like how like heavy herbed it is. 
And it's definitely not going to be your classic ranch that you could buy a pack of Hidden Valley and make this. Like if you really wanted to just make ranch, just buy, you know, a pack of dried Hidden Valley ranch and add it to sour cream or, uh, you know, mayonnaise and sour cream just like this instead. That's perfect. I just wanted to do something like with fresh herbs today and see how it goes. And then this buttermilk is so trippy because it's, I bet you it's gonna be chunky. Oh, no, yeah. it's just thick. All right, all right. I'm gonna add some, it's actually kind of loose already, but it's more of like a ranch dip. So I'm gonna add, was that a third cup? The buttermilk is going to add more tang and more flavor to this. That's kind of like the classic ranch flavor. I'm not done though. I'm gonna add some more seasoning. So I'm gonna add granulated garlic, of course. Half a teaspoon of granulated garlic. I can smell it. I know. I think ranch really has like a like a garlicky taste to it. Makes it classic. Uh, I'm gonna add a pinch of salt. some fresh black pepper, like a good amount of it. Fresh black pepper is so much better than already ground black pepper. Please just buy, like even one of those disposable grinders at the grocery store is so much better. And then I'm gonna add a little quarter teaspoon of cayenne. Camille's ready for um, <laughs> tasting. And it's not even stirred yet. I know. Okay, so this looks really tasty. I think I'm gonna add just like two dashes of Tabasco for like a vinegar flavor. Four, five. <laughs> I also love Tabasco. Tabasco is such a nice compliment flavor. Like this isn't gonna taste like Tabasco. It just adds this like vinegar compliment to it and another edge. Another spicy thing too. All right. Hmm. A little bland. Yeah. Me and salt. Me and salt. I think I'll do a little more granulated garlic. <clears throat> and then the tiniest, like. We'll start with half a teaspoon. I really don't know. So I'm going to measure it over a different. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> How did that happen? Okay, so I'm actually gonna call this good. It's not perfect yet. However, I'm gonna stick it in the fridge. Sometimes when things are That's first true. mixed together and they're just like fresh, they need, they're, they taste kind of bland. They need to like meld together and get to know each other and get all cooled off in the so fridge. Good. And it just changes the flavor. So I'm gonna put it in the fridge and then we're gonna move on to our next step. While we wait for that to kind of be friendly with each other, we are going to stuff some regular Spanish queen olives. Okay, with blue cheese. I bought some blue cheese crumbles at the store and you wanna buy like a gorgonzola or something um, more mild. For this case, we're gonna use a Ziploc because a Ziploc is like your makeshift piping bag. You ever need one? And you're just kind of like heating it up and mushing with your hands. Yeah, so I'm just mushing That's it around. Funny. We're gonna heat it up so that it's um, pipeable. You can stick it under some warm water. You don't wanna stick it in like boiling water because the cheese has oil in it and the oils will separate from the dairy and it'll kind of create an oily mess. So the heat in your hands should be enough, um, especially if you're starting with crumbles. I just uh, pick them up, put the little tip in there. Oh, let's see, it might be a little hard. I do find that olives that you buy stuffed at the grocery store are not as good as stuffing them yourself. However, this is a tedious task and unnecessary if you like the olives at the store. 
this whole video is either gonna be like a, wow, that sounds incredible and so fun, or that sounds disgusting. To people? Yeah. Yeah, because people, <laughs> some people hate pickles. And all this, and hate blue cheese. Man, this is making me want to. You drink a dirty martini. Yeah. <laughs> Make dirty martinis. That Just is like, like comes running from her room. She hears the word dirty martini and comes Someone sprinting. Someone say dirty martini. So, while Camille finishes this, I'm mixing up the batter and the breadcrumbs for the pickles and the olives. So I'm using Italian seasoning. I have some in the flour. I'm also gonna season these breadcrumbs because if you season your flour and you don't season your breadcrumbs, then you know you got one layer of plain something. So you wanna season every step you go. So I'm gonna kind of mimic the same seasoning in both. Some Italian seasoning, and we'll put uh, we'll put measurements down below. Then I have granulated garlic, of course. Yeah, that cool. comes out. I'm like, Ooh. I know it's so garlicky. Like half a teaspoon of cayenne. Put a little in here too. We're using panko breadcrumbs today. They are gluten-free. Where's the container? They are these Aleas, Aleas, Aleas best taste ever breadcrumbs. They're plain panko breadcrumbs, uh, certified gluten-free. So I have salt, pepper, cayenne, granulated garlic, Italian seasoning. I'm gonna put a little bit of this um, smoked paprika. Exact measurements aren't super important. We're just trying to get a nice level of seasoning here. And we're actually gonna make this flour mixture into a batter. And then the panko will be dry and crispy that we um, coat the pickles and olives in. Okay. So I have mine mixed together. I'm gonna put this stuff away. I think I'm gonna use the buttermilk to make this into a batter because we have it and we're using it in the ranch. So it'll kind of like, you know, combine them together. Every recipe I found uses water, but it's liquid. You could use milk, you could use whatever. So that's all the buttermilk I have. It's gone now. This was not the right bowl to make this in, but that's okay. We're already here. <laughs> <doing it. laughs> It's clumpy and weird, but I'm just gonna be patient and continue to mix it until it makes a batter. I'm thinking I want this batter to be kind of thin. I don't want it to be super thick and gloopy, so it's not like a really thick coating on the pickles and olives, but it's looking pretty good. I'm gonna show you do it, thin it out just a little bit more. I bought a whole jar of pickle chips and it just really didn't seem like a lot. So I pulled out some more from the fridge, random uh, like long pickles that I had. And so we're gonna fry those too. Long boy chips. Okay, this looks great. You can see the consistency is like thin and runny, but not super watery thin because you want it to cling to the pickle. I'm gonna turn my oil on now. It's almost time. Um, okay, so we're waiting for the oil to get up to 375 so we can fry. Um, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna try the ranch again and see how that is. It looks so pretty. I hope it's good. I don't know why it's kind of bland. I think it's tastier. It tastes more flavorful now, to me yeah. at least. No, it totally does. I don't know if personally I would go on the record saying like, oh guys, this is ranch, like you've had a million times. Like, True. I think it's almost more of like an herby seasoned Dipping dip. Dipping sauce, yeah. And it's delicious and it's probably similar to ranch, mm -hmm. but it's like a really, like, I think yeah. it's great. I think I what I was thinking- I just don't think it tastes like ranch. It's very dilly, but it's like. Way like fresh ranch kind of where because any ranch that you get even people who make it in their own restaurants and they're like 
oh, homemade ranch. It's most likely dried herbs and dried stuff that they put into it. And that adds a different flavor. I um, think that this is probably, to me, almost better than ranch, but I- I don't really like ranch, yeah. honestly, so. I, I like it fine, um, but I think this is more interesting. Yeah. It's like a little tangier, a little bit of heat, a little more like fresh tasting. Yeah, I like the fresh. Healthier. I like the fresh, especially with the fry. Yep. And it oh, has yeah. the Greek yogurt, so, you know, it is a little bit healthier. Uh, but it's a creamy dip, let's be real, like it's not healthy. Yeah. Um, but we wanted to make two versions. So I'm gonna put half in another bowl and we'll call that our uh, plain ranch. Put a little bit more. And then in this one, we're gonna add some chipotle. I don't cook with this a lot. I'm learning to like um like smoky flavor a lot more but when i read a lot of recipes for fried pickles a lot of them have like a smoky dipping creamy sauce so we're gonna try to do it with chipotle let's kind of dive into this can and see what we're working with so this is a can of chipotle peppers in like chipotle sauce from the peppers. Are they pre-cut? They are big pieces of pepper. But I think what I'm gonna use is this, the like sauciness from it. Mm -hmm. So I don't have to cut anything up. Not sure how much I'm gonna use, but I'm gonna start with like a teaspoon. I think you probably could do this in like a little blender or like, you know, a little food processor, but I'm lazy and I don't want to. All right, what do you think? Really good. Good? Really, awesome. really good. I really like it. Mm. Game time? Game time. Oil is about 350. It's climbing rapidly. Um, so I'm going to start putting some in the batter. I think I'm gonna use this little fork. Let's see. She's talking to me. Fingers. Okay. You're gonna do the clean hand, dry hand technique? Yeah, sure. Wet and dry. So let's okay. put, let's put like okay, that's good. a few pickles in here and do them. Okay, just slap onto that. Yeah, slap those pickles in there. Turn them over, get them nice and battered up. And then toss them in the panko. I'm trying to like, shake off a little extra batter. I don't want it to be super thick. Um, but you want it to be enough that it coats it. You're gonna drop one in? Yeah. Let's go for it. Yay, they're sizzling. Is he sticking to the bottom? Where's he at? I have this like big slotted spoon I'm gonna use. Oh, wow. That was fast. Oh my goodness. Wow. Well, I guess it's a very think, fast process. You think the batter is cooked? I guess there's no eggs. Yeah, no, it's, as long as it's brown, I think it's done. And then I'm gonna just hit them with a little bit of salt. I'm just gonna finish frying these guys off mixing them up and we'll probably have to do some more panko. These are using a lot of panko breadcrumbs, so we're gonna mix up some more panko with some seasoning, get them all fried up, and then I'm just gonna do the exact same thing to the olives. Um, we'll kind of show you the process as we go. Pulling the last blue cheese olives out of the fryer. Seems like the blue cheese leaked a little bit out of the olives. It's gonna be fine. Um, just be careful when you're breading them to make sure you cover the whole thing. It's not really something we thought about too in depth and so they are leaking a little, but they're gonna be good. It's our uh, go-to saying, it's gonna be good. Yeah. It'll be good though. Yeah, but it'll taste good. 
And you always wanna remember when you fry something to salt it right when it comes out of the fryer so the salt sticks. And look at this, it's beautiful. My God, pretty good for a Monday afternoon. This guy looks really crunchy. Are we gonna try it dipped in the sauce? Let's try it in the regular sauce first. Okay. I'm sure we'll eat a lot of them. Yeah. So we have all Ooh. the options. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. I need a one buyer. Mmm. Crunchy. Oh my god. Wow. You know what I like? The panko. Like, another option, you could probably go pretty thick on the breading or do the egg batter or something to make sure that it held on there. But the panko gives it like a little more breading while still being airy. So mm -hmm. it's not like so dense breading. It's like crunchy. Yeah, like, but you get a good amount of This pickle. is the perfect one that like is a perfect. Mm. Ooh, I swear, Naomi, that does have heat. Looks so freaking good. Oh my God, do you see it? Can you see it? Crunchy. Yeah, let's try this pulling one now. I kind of go for the smaller ones, so I tried to grab a bigger one because I wanted to leave some smaller ones for Matana mm. Justin. That's, That's good. LA Ranch is That's so, so good. good. Oh my God. It's an olive. I'm going back in the chair. Okay. I'll go in regular, just start as well. So be careful when you to. bite into it so it doesn't like, I don't know how hot it's gonna be on the inside. I'm scared, you tell me. Oh, look at the steam. Mm. Did you guys see that? Mmm. Amazing. I think we did a great job. Oh. I don't think it was that hard. Was, you know, a few steps, kind of messy. Frying is always messy, but like, worth the end product. Especially, for sure. especially for someone who's gluten free, that it's not easily accessible to get fried pickles. Like, yeah, I mean, wow. All right, everybody, thanks for watching today. We're really, really, really excited with this end product. We hope you try making fried pickles and fried olives at home. Let us know if you test it out, and uh, we'll see you next week. See you guys. Bye. Bye. How's to work? Bring in pickles to our friends. Friends, where are you? Justin's store first. Yeah. You want a fried pickle? Yeah. These ones are the olives. The pickles are the best. <laughs> and this is Chipotle <laughs> Ranch. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you know, I have amazing. Holy crap. Mm. No more ranch? Whoa. That's I good. love it. <laughs> <laughs> I know. This oh is my god, I feel like this me. might be like one of the top things yeah? that you've made. Oh my god, isn't this freaking bomb? Mm -hmm. Dude. One more friend. We have a treat. We have a treat. Wow. All right, what's what? These are olives, these are pickles. You gotta yeah. try the pickle you first. You look fine, you look very That one handsome. looks good. Okay. And this is Chipotle Ranch that we made from scratch. Mm. <laughs> wow, that's good. Good, right? It's like a yogurty ranch with fresh herbs. Okay, now this is an olive? Yeah. Wow, pickle's bomb. Yeah, I think the pickle won for us, but. The olive's good, it's just the actual olive is thicker than like the pickle. Yeah. You want another pickle? Take a small one. Yeah, that one's. Wow, they're both good. Real I love crunchy. the blue cheese inside. Right? Yeah. Gluten free. Thanks so much. good. See you later. <laughs> oh, look at you in your yellow. He just showed up. <laughs> look who showed up. Look who made it to the pickle tasting party. Oh, yes. Because you should go for the pickle because the olives are good, but they have blue cheese inside, so you're going to like the pickle more. <laughs> it's um, It's like a flour batter that we seasoned with a bunch of seasonings, and then we put yeah, panko yeah. breadcrumbs on the outside and seasoned those too. Then I made really chipotle good. ranch. Really good. good, right? Yeah. I made ranch with like fresh herbs yeah. and like yogurt and stuff. What's wrong with you? Okay. Yeah, the ranch, this ranch was the winner. Yeah, I'll drink it.
Olives are pretty good too. Good. That one's called, that pickle's calling your name. You have tried pickles before, right? Austin? Yeah. They got restaurants yeah. and stuff? He, that's why he was so excited. He had to come over and try them. Yeah. I said, this is like the perfect day of food to me. It's, it, I mean, it's perfect my food. It's, yeah. it's what I get every time I've had it. Yeah. But pickle chips, not pickle spears, right? I hope. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 100%. Pickle chips, i I've only ever had fried pickles once in my life. Besides, this is my second time. That makes sense. Yay, thanks for case testing.